All right, and my goal here is to identify the slope and intercept. So let's go ahead and look at one example. Y equals X plus five. Remember that slope intercept is in the form Y equals MX plus B, okay? Where the M represents my slope and then B represents my y-intercept. And remember, the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis, okay? It crosses at one specific point, and usually it's in the form 0, comma, y, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the first example. I need to identify my slope and I need to identify my y-intercept, okay? So if I write y equals mx plus b and compare that with the problem that I have here, I can easily identify my slope. So my slope is usually in front of this x, so it's right here. And since there's nothing in front of the x, we have to assume it's one, right? One times x is the same thing as x. So one is my slope. And then right after that, I have this plus B here. So my Y intercept or my B in this case is five. You can either identify that or since we know that the Y intercept is in the form zero comma Y, I can set X is equal to zero because my zero is taking the place or is the in the position of the X in terms of order pair. So I could just do y equals zero plus five and y equals five, right? And y equals five is my y-intercept. So let's go ahead and take a look at another problem. I have y equals negative x minus four. I'm gonna write y equals mx plus b, and I'm gonna label my slope and my intercept. My slope in this case is this particular um, number here, which is uh, just a negative. And remember, if there's, nothing, if there's no number here, but there's a negative, you gotta assume that this is the same thing as y equals negative one x minus four. So your slope is negative one and your intercept or your y-intercept to be exact, since this is a plus B comparing that to a minus four, your slope in this case is just negative four. And that's it. Three, I have y equals a negative two x plus three. So write y equals mx plus b. Your slope is negative two. And your intercept is positive three. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at number four. Number four is y plus two x is equal to eight. And remember you're comparing that into you're comparing that to y equals mx plus b. So the issue with this particular uh, problem here is that y is not by itself. So I need to get y by itself and then de determine what my slope and intercept are. So subtract both sides by 2x. And I'm just going to, rather than writing 8 minus 2x, I'm going to change that at, to um, y equals negative 2x plus 8 because 8 minus 2x and negative 2x plus 8 are the same thing. So now I can identify my slope and my intercept which is negative 2 and 8. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at another problem. So number 5. Um, I got y minus 3x equals 2. Add both sides by 3x because y is not alone. So I can write that as y equals 3x plus 2, and my slope is 3, and my y intercept is 2. 
okay? And please, please, please do not, do not write 3x as your slope. Okay, I just want a number. Do not put an x here. Do not. All right, so let's go ahead and do number six. If I'm going too fast, just make sure to pause and then um, absorb the material or go back and watch it again if you um, are a little confused. Okay, so let's go ahead and do number six. I have y plus two x minus two equals zero. Again, I'm trying to compare that to y equals mx plus b here, but this is in the form y equals mx plus b, so I need to make sure I get y by itself. So here's this plus two x, and here's this minus two. So I'm gonna move it to the other side by using my inverse operations. Subtract both sides by two x. I get y equals negative, oops, sorry. I get y minus two equals negative two x. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and add both sides by two now, because now if I do that, I get y by itself. So I get y equals um, negative two plus two x. And so now this is in the form y equals mx plus b, right? Oh, sorry. I need to rewrite this. I'm gonna rewrite that as uh, negative two x plus two. There you go. Now I have y equals mx plus b. So then I can figure out my slope. My slope in this case is negative two and my, um, my y-intercept is positive two, okay? Number seven, here's number seven. My equation is four x plus two y, which is equal to six. Notice that we're, it's not in the form y equals mx plus b, so I need to change my equations. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this two y by itself because it contains the variable that I want here, which is y. Notice that every equation that we've been doing has y by itself, right? So this was by itself, this was by itself, now this is by itself, and so on and so forth. So here, I gotta do the same thing. I need to subtract both sides by 4x, because again, this is the variable that I want. So I'm left with 2y equals negative 4x plus six. Now that I have 2y by itself, I gotta get rid of the two now, because if I get rid of the two, now y is officially by itself. So how do I do that? Well, this is 2y. 2y is the same thing as two times y, the opposite of multiplication or timing or times, I gotta divide, right? Opposite of multiplication is division. So divide both sides by two here, that's gonna go away. So I'm left with y on the left side. And then this is how I'm going to do this. Um, uh, since this and this are being divided by this two here, I gotta do it like this. Negative four X divided by two or negative four divided by two is negative two. And then after that, I gotta slap on the X cause that's what I'm supposed to do. And then I have this plus six divided by two or positive six divided by two. What's six divided by two? Well, that's just going to be positive three. Okay. So now this is in the form y equals mx plus b. I can go ahead and identify my slope, which is negative two, right? Because it fits the position very nicely so I can identify my slope easily. And then lastly, this positive three or this plus three is my y-intercept b. And there you have it.